Gospel of November the 14th, 2015, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus told his disciples a parable about the necessity for them to pray always, without becoming weary. He said, There was a judge in a certain town who neither feared God nor respected any human being. And a widow in that town used to come to him and say, Render a just decision for me against my adversary. For a long time, the judge wasn't willing, but eventually he thought, Well, it is true that I neither fear God nor respect any human being. Because this widow keeps bothering me, I shall deliver a just decision for her, lest she finally come and strike me. The Lord said, Pay attention to what the dishonest judge says. Will not God then secure the rights of his chosen ones, who call out to him day and night? Will he be slow to answer them? I tell you, he will see to it that justice is done for them speedily. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? Gospel of the Lord, Gospel of the Lord praise to you, o Lord Jesus Christ. This is a very stern warning for us to pray. It is sad for me to contemplate the last words of the Lord in this gospel. When the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? The closing commentary will be on that. But let us dwell into the parable. The Lord is talking to his disciples, not to the crowd, not to his enemies but to everyone who wanted to, to pretend to follow him and be saved by him, such as you and me. We need to pray unceasingly and without coming, becoming weary. Many times we could, we could think and feel that we pray a lot and that seemingly God does not listen to us, but he does. He does always. He gives us this parable about this dishonest judge who neither feared God nor respected any human being. We could stare at him in awe and think, oh, what a terrible person. But isn't it true that many times you and me have our own rule of thumb and we behave regardless of God and regardless of any other human beings. Isn't it true that we try to bend the law to find a way of profiting without really looking at God's commands or the needs of our brothers and sisters? Yes, we do. Many times I and you behave like that, like the dishonest judge. Let us hope and pray, especially to God, that we learn not, not, we learn how to not become like that. To look for the good of everyone, especially to look for the will of God. Now, there is that widow. At back at the time of the Lord, she was not even a citizen. She didn't have any right at all. All she had was the nuisance, her persistence coming and coming and coming to to the judge until she was wearing him down and that is eventually what decided him I will deliver a just decision for her lest she finally come and strike me she's, she's wearing him down because she insists, insists, insists and the Lord asks us. If that dishonest judge says that, will not God then secure the rights of his chosen ones who call out to him day and night? Will he be slow to answer them? He will see that justice is done for them speedily. I remember, for instance, that scene of the Acts of the Apostles when Simon Peter and John are entering the temple and they see that 
crippled man who was crippled since he was born and how Peter seeing him perhaps just praying for an instant said I do not have gold or silver but what I got what I have what we have I, we give to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ stand up and then immediately God provided for that miracle think about the instance when that widow who used to help many other widows died and chance had it that Simon Peter was in a town close by and the disciples knew about that and sent for him and when he heard all the people around her that were pleading for her Peter went into the room and prayed for her and in that very time God provided life anew for that woman immediately why don't we have that kind of miracles anymore and that is exactly what gets me to that sad part of it when the Son of Man comes will he find any faith on earth it is easy for us to point our finger to point our finger and say oh the bishop the pope the priest the nun but as many times have told you first we would have to see ourselves in the mirror and ask ourselves and you and you do you really have faith and we come back to the very beginning where the Lord, where the Lord says that we have to pray all the time without getting weary because what the Lord is asking us starting with the love that we should have to the Father to the Son and to the Holy Spirit is not within our human power to give human love is not enough human love is never love it's only the love that comes from without from God himself and to get that love we must pray all the time that love that is also the power of the Holy Spirit that will transform us to make our living not like that dishonest judge but truly like so, like a son of God not counting the cost even if that leads to our own crucifixion and death we could not do that on our own we have to be moved and sustained by the power of the Holy Spirit and that is why trembling and sad many times I told I prayed to the Lord and said Lord put the faith that you want in me because I don't have it put the love that you require in me because I don't have it transform me so that when you come back not only in me but especially in all my brothers that are much better than I you will find faith let us realize humbly our reality and from that let us pray constantly until we meet in heaven God bless you all brothers